My Hebrew brothers and sisters, 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth. I want to take this moment to say, welcome back. And thank you so much for your subscriptions. Thank you for your likes, your comments. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for everything you do to help to advance this ministry, the journey back to Abaya. My brothers and my sisters, we are mandated to spread the word to the scattered brothers and sisters all over the earth, 12 tribes of Israel, scattered all over the earth. But brothers and sisters, Yahuwah is coming back soon. We don't know when, but we know it's soon. And it is our responsibility to spread the good news. The good news of the kingdom. Yes, my brothers and sisters, this is our duty. This is our responsibility. You know, sometimes... A responsibility is given to us. And we tend to want to take this responsibility and, you know, give it to someone else. Now, how we do it, how we give it to someone else? We know that we alone cannot do it. So we have to help train and equip the brethren so that they can participate, they can able men, you know, like in... um. In, 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 in 2 Timothy chapter 2, he said, And the things which thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men and women, faithful brothers and sisters, who shall be able to teach others also. So if I try to do it by myself, it is futile. I can't do it by myself. It's just like it's just like and 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 you know on my life on my life, right? I cannot be teaching the word and at the same time attending to those who come in the chat, answering questions, giving greetings, and you know, I cannot do that. Every now and then, I can glance over and I can see someone and I can say hello. But I cannot do that. This is the reason why we have to have help. And so my brothers and my sisters, we alone cannot do it. We have to get helpers to help us spread it. You know? We need helpers to help us get the word out that Yahuwah is coming back soon. And Yahuwah wants us to share his word to others. And so this is one of the, um, the mandates that we have, right? In, 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 in sharing the word of, of Yahuwah, taking it far and near, or near and far. Okay, that's what he wants us to do. Praise his holy name. In, in verse 16, Listen to what verse 16 said. For I said, Hear me. Remember in verse 15, he was crying out to Yahuwah. In thee, he said, In thee, O Yahuwah, do I trust. And say, And thou Wilt hear me, O my Elohim. Here in verse 16 he said, For I said, He's repeating himself, I said it. Hear me. It is lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. My brothers and sisters, this is what the enemy want to do. 
when we down, he want to come and laugh at us. Yeah. The, the enemy he wants to he wants to keep us down, and he want to be able to have control over us. He want to be able to push us around and and, and call his his you know his friends and neighbors. Come on and see what happened to Murray over here. He's down. Let us kick him. Let us step in his head. Call him names. Do all kind of things with him. He's down. But I praise be to Yahuwah when I call on him in my distress, in my trouble. He hears. Praise his holy name. My brothers and sisters. So he said here, for I said, He is a he, he is embracing what he said. I said it. I I said it. What did he say? He's asking Yahuwah to help. He said, Hear me. Hear me. I mean when, when Yahweh hears him. Yahweh was going to come to his rescue. He said, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. My brothers and sisters, let me say this. The job of the wicked one of the evil one. The Hasatan. His job is to delegate his workers of iniquities all over the earth. And who are they going to first? The Hebrew Israelites. They know that our ancestors messed up. They know that time is coming. They have messed up. And my brothers and my sisters, if we follow in the footsteps, he win double. It's like a double victory for him. Because he made a mess up and lost out on the blessing that Yahuwah has prepared for us. Yes, my brothers and my sisters. And now, now, what he wants us to do is to continue to mess up. And so how are you going to do it? Discouragement. Oh, can you don't laugh at you. It's going to make you feel bad. Oh, man. He said, Yo, what is going on? You know, he, he's messed up so bad, you know. And hey, hey, come on over here. Let's rejoice. Let's rejoice. See, you see, I, I know it was going to happen. I know exactly that is what's going to happen. This is what happened to them. Calling upon his Yahuwah. Yes. Where is the Yahuwah to help him now? Yahuwah is sitting in his throne laughing at them because here the psalmist is saying our cousin David he know he can call upon Yahuwah because Yahuwah is going to help him. Well, this is what he said here. If, if, Yahuwah, if I don't call on you and you don't come to my rescue. You see, when Yahuwah comes to our rescue, it means that he's hearing us. When he didn't come, he still hears us, but he said, no, not time yet. Do you remember what happened to Job? 
in his misery. His friends sat down there and they mocked him. They say all kind of evil against him. Man, you must have some sin in your life. You see, Job was a different man from David because David really did do some stuff. He did some stuff. But my brother and my sisters is confident that he's repenting of what he did and that he is going to ask Yahuwah to help him in his time of need. Less otherwise, he said, they should rejoice over me. This is what the enemy does. This is what they want to do. They want to rejoice over you. They want to hear the coming we're going to have a party. Oh, yes. We're going to have a party. You know? And they grab the, the drinks, right? Of course, this is some iced tea, guys. This is some iced tea, right? And they pull the iced tea out. In that iced tea for them is liquor, is whiskey, rum, and champagne and all those drinks right and then hold him up high and then what they do the one who leading the marsh or the whatever they take the glass and then they shake it up I mean the bottle they shake it up you know until it, it form and then they pull it up and it go psh, and they went oh and they're having a good time <laughs> I just to watch you at them and oh oh heavenly father he sits on his throne and he's looking at them and he said look at them they do not know what they're doing they have not the slightest idea that my servant that they're mocking and rejoicing over he's not going anywhere. He's not going to go under. He repented of his sins. And he come to me in repentance. So I am going to be with him. I'm going to help him. Yes, my brother, my sisters. This is the Yahuwah that we serve. Like David said, I said, Hear me. And when we call to him, my brother, my sisters, in our distress, in our time of need, let me encourage you that if you have a problem, if you have a need, take it to Yahuwah and cry out to him. Because you know something, my brother, my sisters? He is not going to let you down. He is going to be there for you. You don't have to worry. They, 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 can, they can go on and rejoice as much as they want to now. But when their time of difficulties come, who are they going to call? Who are they going to call? Yahweh is not going to be there to help them unless they repent of their deeds and turn to him. He said, for I said, hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. <clears throat> well, my brothers and my sisters, they're waiting for his for foot to, to slip, right? He said, when my foot slip, 
when my foot slips, and, and you use the word slippeth there because the word is a continuous participle. Continue. Slippeth means sil slipping. It's slipping, you know. You, you, you foot slip today. If, if you continue to live, you may not sleep tomorrow, but you sleep the next day or some, some other time. But, you know, this is what happened. We're living in this sinful world. And all kind of things happen. And we have to, you know, keep calling on Yahweh. So that we can pour ourselves out to him and he can see, he knows. And he wants us to come to him. He wants us to come to him, my brothers, my sisters. He said, when my foot slips, they magnify themselves. I guess, oh man, man, as he done, they say, wow. Mm. Look, at, look at what happened to him now. That's what they said. Look at what happened to him now. What do you think? He's not going to get away with it. We got him just right where we got. We, we got him. We got her too. We got you. Say you Hebrew, Israelite, trusting in Yahuwah. Let me tell you something. We got you just where we want you. So what they do? They magnify. They exalt themselves. <laughs> oh, they made themselves known. Look! And they put it in the headline. They, they put it... <laughs> I, I, was, I was seeing, I was seeing um, last, uh, last week and as I came up on the news and I heard it there, some people went to the court, you know, you know who is in trial, right? And uh, so they, some of the people in that supporting, you know, they went to the court and uh, they were ca causing confusion, you know, you know. So on the outside, they have a bunch of balloons. And what they do, they put the judge Put the judge, you know, they have the balloon made of his, of his pictures, his daughter, you know, the, the prosecutor who prosecuting the man, and, you know, and all of these different people, you know, they put them in the balloon. So they have the balloon, and then, and then you know, those, what they call it, floating balloons, they, they let them go so they're everywhere. So if you have a good. Look, you know, uh, what they call a magnifying glass. You can look up there, you can see the, the picture as you know, of them flung all over the place, you know, rejoicing, you know, not knowing that they, they themselves probably going to be in trouble for doing something like that. But people like to do that, they like to brag, they like to do, do things, you know, magnify the situation. You know, magnify themselves. He said, he said, he said, for I said, this is what he said here. For I said, hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slips, they magnify. This is what, but my brother and my sister, this is what the enemy does. They exalt themselves. They rejoice. They're happy. And sometimes you feel so distraught, you know, because they're looking at, they're laughing at you, they're carrying on and they're saying evil against you. You know? And you know what? When people lies and scheme and do evil, you have a group of people out there, the ears, that's what they want to hear. It, 
instead of them saying, no, 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 I'm not going to rejoice over that because you know what? My time may come. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't say may come. They say will come. And the song that say, my day will come. You know, that kind of song, you know. But let me say this. Their day is going to come. They can go and magnify themselves now against us. They can go and magnify themselves against me. The enemy can. But just remember this one thing. I am not trusting in you enemy. I am trusting in Yahuwah. He is the one that you are trusting in my brothers and sisters. So do not allow anything to cause you to lose out on the blessings that Yahuwah has for you. We're going to stop here and come back. And we're going to ask that you will be a blessing to someone today, my brothers and sisters, and walk with the king. Shalom.